Hi, my name is Angela Huffman. I'm an APQS dealer and an educator with the APQS Long Arms for Lifelong Learning Center. We're going to fill this space that I've stitched out here as if it were a sashing or an inner border and there are lots of quilts where uh, leaves will look wonderful in these small spaces. So let's play with a leaf design that will kind of change positions and uh, bring the eye across the quilt. So the first thing I want to do is an S curve and this is the side of the leaf and what I like to do is just make a little um, Oh, slope up to the points. So there's the point of my leaf. And then I'm going to come back down with more of a C curve and put a little tail in it and then head back up. Now the, my next leaf, the base of the leaf is going to be up here. So again, I'm going to do an S curve down, a C curve up and curl in. Head back down to the bottom. So now this next leaf, this is the base of my leaf. Again, I'm gonna do an S curve up, C curve down and curl in, and then head back up to the stop, to the start of the next leaf. And that way each leaf goes uh, pointing up, pointing down, pointing up, pointing down, back and forth. And it really adds a nice effect. And it's pretty easy to do. S curve, C curve, curl in, back up to the top. S curve, C curve, back in. And depending on um, how you lay this down, you can change the look of it pretty easily. Doodle this on paper first and get the feel of the curves of that S shape and that C shape. And that'll help you when you move it to the fabric. S curve down, C curve up, curl in. You're ready to go back down to the bottom. Do your S curve, C curve, curl in, back up to the top, and just keep on going. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apqs.com. Be sure to like our Facebook page and join the conversation and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you're notified every time a new video is posted.